Happy Easter, Glitter Critters! And I know I'm cutting it pretty close with this video because Easter Sunday is this weekend! Yay! And I'm sure you're very excited for the fun family get-togethers, church, the yummy food, and let's not forget the delicious desserts. Yummy! So today I'm going to be showing you six fun Easter treats that are great for an Easter egg hunt, an Easter party, or just a fun project to do at home with your friends, family, and kids of your own. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you're opting for a more healthy Easter treat, these fruity peeps are perfect for you. All you need is a yellow fruit cup of your choice, and you can choose from pineapples, mangoes, peaches, whatever you like. And then you'll need a black and red Sharpie. That's it. Just draw on the peep eyes, hands, feet, and beak to finish off this super easy treat. And that all rhymed. Isn't that awesome? Okay, shut up, Breland. So these bunny bites are amazing and they only take around 15 minutes to make. All you need is a bag of Reese's chocolate eggs or you can use the Dove white chocolate eggs, waffle pretzels, and Easter M&Ms. That's all. So start by laying all of your waffle pretzels out on a baking sheet and you can make as many of these as you want. I just made a small amount just to show you for this video. Then start unwrapping your chocolate eggs and lay them on top of the pretzels. Now take your quick and yummy creation and pop it into the oven for around 8 to 10 minutes on 200 degrees. Make sure you watch them because you do not want them melting through the pretzel. You want the chocolate to be just gooey enough to stick your M&Ms on. So after taking them out of the oven, plop on those m ms and you can either put them in the fridge to chill or just let them set for around 15 minutes to firm up. And if you make these for the Easter Bunny, he will surely come back every year just for these delicious bunny bites. Yummo! Have you ever thought of catching the Easter Bunny? I know I have, and Breland's Bunny Bait is sure to do the trick. You will need Easter m ms sprinkles, sweet white chocolate morsels, popcorn of your choice, Chex Rice cereal, pretzels, and some cute little baggies and bows to put it in. So in a deep baking sheet, I added all the ingredients, and while I was adding that, I put my white chocolate morsels in a glass bowl and heated them up over a pot of boiling water. This way the chocolate won't burn. Now slowly drizzle that yummy goodness all over your mixture. I poured half the chocolate in and stirred it up, and then I just poured the rest in just to evenly distribute it. So after, just let it set for around 30 minutes to harden. Now you can just break it apart and put it in either a large bag like mine or little mini bags. Oh yeah, and don't forget to add your bunny bait tag. I created mine in Photoshop, but there are plenty already made up on Pinterest to choose from. So, the night the Easter Bunny comes, set this out on the table and see how much is missing from it. There might not even be any left. peep -a boo I hope you love brownies and lots of sugar. So, for this treat, all you'll need is a box of brownie mix, Easter M&Ms, and peeps. So I went ahead and made up the brownie mixture according to the directions on the box and put them in the oven. So after it was done, I began adding my peeps and my M&Ms, and you can add as many as you like. Now just plop them back into the oven for around five to eight minutes on 350 degrees. And you want your peeps to be pretty melted. So after they look kind of like this, cut them up, add more M&Ms and peeps for decorations, and you're finished. I'm pretty sure you've never seen a pizza like this before, but in Easter land, this is what an Easter Bunny pizza looks like. So for this treat, you'll need pastel marshmallows, Easter Bunny marshmallows, M&M sugar cookie dough, chocolate Easter Bunnies, sprinkles, and icing is optional for decoration. First, I spread out the cookie dough on a round pizza pan and baked it according to the directions. And after it cooled, I'm adding all the ingredients, including marshmallows, m and sprinkles, and chocolate Easter bunnies. And you can use whatever candy toppings you want on your Easter bunny pizza. So now I'm just putting it into the oven for around five to eight minutes on 350 degrees. Make sure you watch it because you don't want your marshmallows to brown. Last, I added icing and sprinkles to the crust just to cover any imperfections and give it a cuter look. And that's it. Have you ever seen an Easter basket and wanted to eat the entire thing? Yeah, me neither. But now you can, and it's safe and non-toxic. All you need is cookie dough of your choice, white icing, speckled jelly bean eggs, Twizzlers, and sweet coconut flakes, which you can use a few drops of food coloring to dye them different colors like I did. Now using a cupcake pan, I'm using two of the pre-cut cookies and one cupcake cup, and baking these according to the directions. Now I just put some of that icing in a Ziploc bag and clipped a corner off to make a piping bag and I'm just applying a blob of that icing on top of our cookie baskets. 
After blobbing on that icing, I just started sticking the coconut to it. So after that, you can start adding your jelly bean eggs. And I pressed them down firmly so that way they would stick to the icing underneath and they wouldn't just roll off. So when you're finished, cut your Twizzlers to fit and slide them underneath the icing on both sides to secure them in place. And you might want to pre-bend them so that way they'll hold their shape. So after putting on the basket handles, I am finished and I'm ready to chow down on some Easter baskets. Yummy! So that's all for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you try any of these treats, be sure to send me a picture on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And also let me know which treat was your favorite. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful Easter. Bye! I love you!